I also said that scientific notation can be used not only to write large numbers but very small numbers. By small numbers what I mean are numbers that are bigger than zero but much less than the number one. So we're talking about tiny fractions here. So as an example of scientific notation being used to, uh, to write very small numbers, let's start with the number 0 0.1. So as many of you may know, the number 0 0.1 is the same thing as the number 1 divided by the number 10. And if that's confusing to you, you can, you can confirm this on your calculator. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. You can also think of 0 0.1 as being 1 divided by 10 divided by the number 10 once. Because it's 1 divided by the number 10 once, mathematicians will sometimes write the number 0 0.1 as 10 to the minus 1, or 10 to the negative 1 power. So this is just a fancier way of saying 1 divided by 10 one time, or you can think of it as another way of writing the number 0 0.1. And as, if a mathematician were talking about this, they might uh, pronounce it as 10 to the minus 1 or 10 to the negative 1 power. Now, here's a, here's a slightly different number. The number 0 0.01 is equal to the number 1 divided by 100. 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01. But, as we mentioned a few slides ago, the number 100 is really 10 times 10. So you can think of the number 0 0.01 as being 1 divided by 10 two times. Because we're dividing 1 by 10 twice, mathematicians might write that as 10 to the negative 2 power, or they might call it 10 to the minus 2 power. So again, 10 to the minus 2 is just a different way of writing the number 0 0.01. And it may not be convenient to write it this way for the number 0 0.01, but for very tiny numbers with many zeros at the front of the number, it's actually easier to write uh, the number in this form, which is again is not quite scientific notation because we also need a coefficient, but it's close to scientific notation. So here's a different number. This is the number 0 0.000001. How many, num how many zeros is that? Looks like it's five zeros. That can be written as 1 divided by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So 1 divided by 10 multiplied by itself 6 times is the same thing as this number over here with, with its many zeros. However, since it's 1 divided by 10 multiplied by itself 6 times, mathematicians might write 10 to the minus 6 power, or 10 to the negative 6 power. So hopefully you can see that once you get to very tiny numbers, numbers that are much less than the number 1, it actually becomes easier to write these numbers using scientific notation or exponents as opposed to writing out all of the zeros. And that's basically the purpose of writing numbers in scientific notation. <clears throat> so, if we wanted to write this particular number in scientific notation, we need a coefficient, um, and in this case the coefficient is just the number 1. So the number 0 0.000001 can also be written as 1 times 10 to the negative 6 power. And it just, just to give you a sense of how tiny that is when you get the flu vaccine, you, get, you actually get approximately 1 times 10 to the 6 grams of, of flu vaccine. And I mentioned earlier that a gram is about the, the weight of a paper clip, so if you broke a paper clip into a million even pieces, you're getting uh, one of those tiny pieces of the paper clip um, in the form of flu vaccine when you get the injection. So that's uh, at least an introduction in writing numbers, writing small numbers in scientific notation. It turns out that the recipe that I was describing earlier for writing uh, large numbers in scientific notation also works for small numbers. In this case, we're looking at the number 0 0.00001, so that's four zeros after the decimal point. But if we follow the recipe, we can write this in scientific notation as well. We start on the left side of the number, and we move to the right until we reach a digit that's not a zero. Here, the first and only digit that's not a zero is the number one, and I'm going to highlight it in blue, so there it is in blue. Now, we should mark uh, a spot to the right of that first digit that's not a one, we should mark a decimal point there and call that the new decimal point. So there's the new decimal point. In this case, it's actually easy to see the old decimal point. The old decimal point is written because it needs to be there to hold all of the zeros before, that come before the one. So there's the old decimal point. But we do the same thing. We count the number of hops that it takes to get from the new decimal point to the old one. In this case, it actually takes us one, two, three, four, five hops. But this is five hops backwards. So 
our exponent in this case, since we're moving backwards, is going to be minus 5. And the coefficient is going to be the old number, and here's the old number, but with the new decimal point. So our coefficient is just going to be the number 1. And as I mentioned, the exponent is going to be minus 5. So putting all of this together, another way of writing the number 0 0.00001 in scientific notation is to write 1 times 10 to the minus 5. That's just a different way of writing this number. Again, here's a slightly more complicated uh, example of trying to write a small number using scientific notation. Here we're trying to write the number 0 0.00123 using scientific notation, and using the same recipe that we've been using in the previous slides. So again, step one, start on the left side of the number, and move to the right until you reach the first digit that's not a zero. Here's the first digit that's not a zero, and I'm going to color it in blue. So that digit is the number one. Then we have to put a decimal point to the right of that first digit that's not a zero, and that's going to be our new decimal point. So there's our new decimal point. And again, with these numbers that are less than one, we can, actually, um, we can actually easily find the old decimal point. So there's the old decimal point, and I'll mark it as the old one. And what we want to do is we want to count the number of hops that it takes to get from the new decimal point back to the old decimal point. In this case, it takes three hops backwards to get from the new one to the old one. So one, two, three hops backwards. What that means is the exponent is going to be minus three because we've been moving backwards. And the new number, the new coefficient, is going to be the old number, which is this one, but using the new decimal point. So the coefficient is going to be 1.23, and the exponent, as I said, is going to be minus 3. So another way of writing the number 0 0.00123 using scientific notation is to write it as 1.23 times 10 to the minus 3 power. It's just a different way of writing this number here on the right. So hopefully now you can see that you can use this recipe and you can use scientific notation to write very large numbers and to write very small numbers when you start with a number that's written in the more conventional way, the, more, the way that we're more accustomed to seeing.